Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I make planters or cover pots and these are really beginner friendly. So let's just get started. Okay guys, since we're using air dry clay to make our planters, you're gonna wanna get a container like this. It could be made out of glass, plastic, or metal and I got this one from Dollar Tree. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of clay and flatten it out between my fingers and then I'm gonna press it against the glass and mush it in. And that's basically what I'm gonna do to cover this container. And I'm using Daz clay because this clay won't crack once it dries up against the glass. Also guys, don't worry about this being super neat because we're gonna fix it. Okay guys, so once your container is fully covered, you should be looking something like this. Taking some water on my fingers, I'm just gonna blend this all out to smooth everything. You can just use your fingers or you can also use a sponge that's meant for clay and you could also even use a scraper tool. Alright guys, so this is as neat as I've gotten it so far and it's pretty good. I don't really care about making it super perfect because I can still sand this once it's dry. So now I'm going to move on to the face. So taking a little bit of clay, I'm going to make the nose and I'm going to shape this clay into a long rectangle and I'm going to round out the edges a little bit. And then here, I'm just gonna press it into the clay and there we go, we have our nose. Grabbing a little bit more clay, I'm gonna roll out two little dots and add them as the eyes. And then now I'm just gonna roll out a little line for the mouth. And that's pretty much it. We have our planter. I'm just gonna keep this really simple. So now I'm just gonna let this dry for about two days. Soon after. Okay guys, so here's our planter now that it's dry and I'm gonna sand it down just a little bit. I sketched out an upside down arch shape because I wanted to paint the face a different color than the rest of the body. And so now I'm gonna paint. Here I covered the face because I wanted to speckle the rest of it. I'm gonna seal this with Deco Arch Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. Okay guys, so for our second air dry clay planter, I'm gonna be using this old candle jar from Bath & Body Works. Take some clay and roll it out long enough to where you know that the clay will cover the whole jar. Taking my jar, I'm gonna place it on top of the clay and I'm gonna wrap the clay around the jar and right here, I'm gonna make sure to overlap the clay to blend it in together. And here I'm just taking off the extra bits of clay that are hanging off of the bottom and the top of the jar. I'm 
I'm gonna take some water and smooth out my clay a little nicer. So now that my clay is nice and smooth, I'm gonna start adding my design and I'm gonna add in a boho desert design. So for this, I'm gonna be making like hills or mountains and using a dotting tool, I'm just gonna go around the whole jar and just start drawing lines that connect to each other. You don't have to worry about any of these lines being perfectly straight since they're hills and there's like no way that you can mess this up. Here I'm using a little bottle cap to make my sun. And then right here, using the bigger side of my dotting tool, I'm just going back in there and making the lines a little thicker. If you get like little pieces of clay chunks like I am, all you have to do is just take a little bit of water on your fingers and then just blend them away. Right here, I decided I wanted to add some more mountains on top. All right guys, so I'm pretty happy with this and so now I'm just gonna let this dry. So here's our planner now that it's dry and I'm gonna sand it just to smooth out those extra pieces of clay around the lines. And now I'm just gonna paint. And after all that painting guys, I decided to repaint the whole planter. So now that I like these colors so much better, I'm going to seal this with DecoArt's Triple Thick Gloss Glaze and we're done.